okay things are getting recorded that's good news for the timing so let's do something um if you observe here it's all white white stuff and it's all gray here so i think i'm going to change it to white i guess just for the aesthetic sense so change the back color to white then let's make the exit function so just click on file once and click on exit the code opens up and now i'm just going to write this code unload me what this is going to do is it's going to unload this form from the memory so and that's how our application stops then i need a text box here right uh, okay where's the text box come on text box where are you okay this is our text box here let's make it multi-line because in the notepad this is a multi-line thing right see multi-line so so it's going to be multi-line so find the <coughs> multi-line option here it should be somewhere um, m yeah multi-line is false set it to true now let's do something uh, its name is text one so double click on the form and uh, form load event handler opens now just write this code text one dot with is equal to me dot with uh, what this is going to do is like um, it's going to take up the entire width of the form that's what we want actually text one dot height is equal to me dot height and it means one more thing actually like um let me show you oh god okay uh okay and one more thing then text one dot um left okay text one dot left equal to zero i guess uh text one dot top yeah top equal to zero let's check okay what's wrong is something wrong I mean, something's wrong i guess that's why it's not running okay it ran okay the problem is solved work okay. What was happening was that um, this is a form and I have placed the text box somewhere here. Then from this starting point is taking up the entire width of the form and the entire height of the form. Like the origin is here. That's why I started from here. So what I did was I just did this text one dot left. That's the left property is set to zero and top I set it to zero. Like this points, uh, this one left is zero and top is zero. So it starts from here. Um, I'm showing you one problem with this like if you ready to resize this see its end is up to here and to resize this its end is here uh, so we need to change this as well because we need our text box to fill up the entire width and not just the initial width and height so first thing first just remove this text one thing so click on text one this drop down menu just select and remove this this will go now uh, click on this form property form component and uh, in this load here so we need to find unload oh i'm so sorry i'm so sorry we don't need to unload sorry we need resize like when the form is resized right so we need resize <coughs> So when the form is resized, what I would do is text one dot width equal to me dot width, text one dot height, me dot height. Uh, uh, should I save it? I guess. Where should I save it? The desktop? Yeah. The timing on the desktop later is going to change, I guess. 
this new folder and it's going to be vb notepad and save so run it once and see i change the width and it's still taking up the entire space but as you can see the font size is too too small so um okay there's a problem i guess uh, it's taking up a little more space as you can see i don't know if you can see or not the font is too small see see, see um, it's going to the end 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 i can still type now it's changing so the width has to go down a bit i guess so instead of and there with let's do something into 0 0.95 and here also uh, actually for the for everything actually uh, let's make it 0 0.95 and select this and click on font here and change the font size actually it's just too small now i guess it's 8 pixel or something like that a 12 is good enough i like things big but some people like 10 uh, for this video i'm gonna make it 12. see it's coming here coming here coming here and okay now it's good okay so instead of 95 let's make it 99 nine nine let's check uh it's uh, okay okay it's good enough i don't know why uh that thing is happening like that uh, or maybe just too small so i, I made a mistake perhaps Uh, this is okay, I guess. Me dot width, me dot width. Change this, change this to okay. This one. No, I'm pretty sure there is a problem actually. So, let's make it nine nine, and here also nine nine. It's going to resize right initially, that's why I think this was taking 9.5 and so let's check actually. Um, as you can see, I don't know, I think, okay, 9.9 uh, nine, nine is too much, uh, too less, actually 9.8, 9.8, come on, 9.8, 9.8, 9.8, um, I don't know if you can understand or not, 9.8 is 98%. And nine nine is also ninety ninety nine percent. Okay, this is good enough. This is good. Enough. I like this. Okay, this is good enough. Okay, so this is done. Now, am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay, so let's for simplicity sake. Now let's add a component here. So I click on this space and click on component and i'm going to use common dialog component <coughs> common dialog control i hope okay i can import it here so common dialog here double click this it will appear here this won't show up in the actual form so it's just here it's going to chill here it's going to show here so when i click on font this a uh, uh, font dialog box should open up so common dialog one dot show font i guess yeah show font it's going to open up um something i'm going to show you right now let's click on font and see this is going to open up okay so you can select the font here any font you want and click ok uh at this moment, at this moment nothing is going to happen but uh, it's going to happen after some time like when i code it of, of course so 
what I'm going to do is like change the form of the text box like so text one dot font is equal to common dialog one dot font name okay so first let's type something here so this is our initial font now let's change it to something very very different to put it in a polite way come on okay this one okay i said it okay and i hope things change yep it does change so we can change the font so let's try to change the font size also text one dot font font size yeah text one dot font size <laughs> the cool thing about this is you did not know any command just <laughs> write the um, object name and and put a period here dot and it automatically shows up all the options like i, I didn't know if i if there was any font size thing but if you see if you just see this drop down menu i see okay there's something font name and there's something like font size so yeah like this so font size equal to common dialog one dot font size yeah, there is font size here so let's run initial okay let's try something initially here now okay this is what i wrote here initially and change the font type first it changed the font name now let's change the font size to 16 click ok ok it works perfectly perfectly see the font size also changed here so it's perfect so a notepad application the ui is more or less ready and everything so now let's try to save this somewhere okay <laughs> i think i may have problems with this because i never tried it yet so let's cross our fingers okay so file and save uh, let's do save as first save as then it's going to shoot the common dialog control again common dialog one dot show show open uh show save here show save that's better let's run it once so file save as is going to okay shit <laughs> you should not have seen that uh, show save and I think you can change the type here but I forgot the code let's check uh, our internet for that um, so um, it's difficult to find the materials for vv6 actually because it's pretty outdated so vv6 common dialogue um change type uh, i don't know what i'm searching let's see uh this thing file of type is what i want to change but do they show the code Can I see the code? Um, I'm not able to see it right now. Just hold on for a sec. I got a call, I guess. So uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna take this time to uh, to stop this video as well. So hold on for a sec. 